Hey everybody, Kay here on the homestead and today I am using my rake for the first time. This is the first time it's worked properly. Almost since I have ever used it. All last year it didn't work at all. I gave up. I was raking this hill with a rake. But look, it is, I just dumped it and it's already filling up just getting back to my spot. So I am so excited because I got the four-wheeler back uh, let's see yesterday morning and then the mower came today he cut it tight you know how long the grass was so I have a lot of well you can see I've got the piles started right down there that's just two loads so far and they're going to be a lot more I've just got like over there just a few passes over there and I've got that much already so I'm going to have enough mulch to cover up that entire meadow uh, once I get the seeds in. First I have to water it, then I have to put the seeds down, and then I have to put the mulch over the top. Or wait till tomorrow and then I don't have to water it. <laughs> that may be what happens.
Okay, I just wanted to show you. This is a new tire for the sweeper, which I have a tendency to call the garden rake that you tow behind. And these things wear out. And you see the one that I had. So all of these notches are worn off, so it's only going to grab every so often and it won't pick up anything because this corresponds to a metal wheel on the machine and the plastic just wears out. And why they can't put this on in metal, I don't know, but it wears out and so the brushes uh, from the sweeper engage with the notches and as it goes around, it the, the brushes go around, and that's what sweeps everything up. Anything from leaves to fine cut grass. But you see, <laughs> you see how worn out this thing was. It wasn't working at all, and now it does, and I'm so excited. That works like a charm. I can't believe after all the struggling I did last year with that rake, going around and around and around and picking up nothing and the wheel locking up. Well, guess what? The wheels are plastic. The gear on the rake is metal. They wear out. And they cost $50 a piece. Wow. So it has a new wheel on it. And I, I had a lot of fun driving that thing around. So they're fixing something on the road down there. So that's why you hear that uh, road equipment and the sun is just about to go down. I'll, I'll let you take a peek. Thanks so much for following my daily journal here. I've just been doing this every day because spring, hey, because spring, right? It's just, uh, there were so many days that were gray and nothing was happening all winter. And then now it's just boom, boom, boom. There's just so much to do. I can't even keep up. Uh, but anyway, thanks so much. I hope you subscribe if you haven't. Click that bell for notifications. Scroll down and click all so you won't miss anything right here on the homestead. With me and the five cats, the three musketeers, the mysterious patch, and the senior Lyndon, who lives in my bathroom. <laughs> God bless. We'll see you next time. I guess she didn't want you doing that, BJ. <laughs> all right. The three musketeers are here. Where's Patch? She disappeared this morning. Haven't seen her since. What's going on, Spot? But for right now, I love to come and sit in the circle and just commune. Look at that. Just commune with nature and the creator and count my blessings. Listen to the birds. Gosh, there's some, that tree looks like it's got some dead limbs. I should wear a hard hat when I sit here. They know it's dinner time. Good boy. I wish I could figure out what he's allergic to. That drippy eye of his. Spot, show me your eye. Yeah, see? Tiger, what do you see? See a bird? BJ. What do you see?